your girls, your pals, or a night in by yourself. That sounds a bit sad, night in yeah, by yeah. yourself. Or a night, in. night in by yourself, <laughs> Lona. <laughs> everyone and a big welcome back to Superdrug TV. I'm Vic, I'm one of the new presenters and I'll be carrying you through February, the month of love. We really do love your company so don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode. With Valentine's Day soon approaching, we are starting today's show off with Misguided. I love their clothes. You're probably wondering what am I going to wear, whether it's a date night, a day out with your gal pals or just a night in on the sofa. Next, we have the amazing Jamie Windus, who will be teaching us how to open our minds when it comes to shopping for a new fragrance. We are so excited to have Misguided back in the studio. Bronte and Misha will be showing us three Valentine's Day outfits. Hi girls, so you've both picked out your Valentine's Day outfits. Please tell us a little bit about what you were wearing. So I'm in a full Misguided fit. I've gone for 50 shades of brown because I just think brown looks really classy and a blazer dress just because they are so comfy like you cannot go wrong and I, again I think they look classy. Yeah so I've gone for comfort as well. I just feel like cowards you just feel so put together you literally just have yeah. to put two and two together and it looks like you put effort in so that's what I love about it. I've also matched my lipstick to my outfit. It's from Misguided. Um, it is shade Bring the Party and I love it it's one of my favourites. And she's bringing the party in this outfit <laughs> so it works. <laughs> Oh, not forgetting our little matching bags. I know, how cute. I love the black and white together. Very, very cute. And we can put all our makeup in it as well. So these are your date night outfits. Please tell us how these dresses make you feel. So my go-to on a date night is always a little black dress paired with some boot heels. I just feel really confident in this outfit and as soon as I leave the door, I just feel good and I feel like it's just the perfect outfit for a date night. I love a little like silky number, especially like the little leg slits. It's like a little bit cheeky, but not too cheeky. So that's why I went for this dress. And you are absolutely glowing. Is your highlighter misguided beauty as well? So it is. This is the high lit highlighter in golden hour and I am very glowy right now. It looks amazing. So where do you see yourself going in these dresses? So I would go for sushi, rooftop bar, some cocktails, something like that. And then I think I'm like a little bit more dinner and drinks, a little bit of a fancy vibe. So finally, we have a girls' night in. So can you please explain these absolutely adorable outfits? <laughs> so we are actually matching in our teddy pajama play suits, which are honestly so snuggly. Like honestly, feel how soft they are. No. They are so snuggly. They're exactly what you need for a night in. Exactly. I also am wearing the misguided foundation. It is the Meet Your Match, and they have loads of different shades, which is amazing. I've had it on all day, so. and you still look flawless. So what are your evening plans for tonight in your teddy play suit? So we're thinking a takeaway. Yeah, and we're going to start a series together, which is very A commitment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is exciting, yeah. And yeah, that's our plan. Well, you look absolutely gorgeous, girls, and I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day, whatever you are doing. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. It is me, Jamie Windust, here in my car, legend, author, broadcaster and model, in my own very car to talk to you, the dear viewer of Superdrug TV, today, not about anything other than fragrances. Today we are on a matchmaking mission to find my perfect fragrance, the fragrance that I will take into my life. And how are we doing that, Jamie? I hear you ask. Well, Without further ado, let's head upstairs and find out which fragrance is for me. Well, I guess I should put my blindfold on. This is very much like a bush took a trial. <laughs> Thank you very much, kind sir. Ah, dropping the box. Ooh, no spray this time. No spray, no lay. No. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, it's a dab situation. Ooh, it smells like spring, if I'm honest. Crisp. Crisp linen, anyone? Has anybody seen crisp linen? Coffee. <laughs> Fine, that'll do. Next, Sam, I'm ready for my next fragrance. Nice box. Oh, an interesting lid. 
can't go wrong with a good old lid. Don't forget to smile your lids. Cute. Third pound. Right. Ah. In the scent journey, we are turning a corner because this, this one is sweeter. We've moved over into the sweet realm of fragrance. If you are a fan of sweet, this one will be good. Now fragrance is all about finding the one for you. I love a sweet fragrance. I like to smell like I could be on the menu somewhere. Very nice. Next, I'm ready for my next fragrance. Three, two, one. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Thanks. I really am lost with what is in my hand right now. Who's this? I presume it's the lid that's fallen off somehow. Whoa! When two become one. Much like the Spice Girl said, I will take this off, whatever it may be. Maybe it's colder. Ooh! Oh god. Yes! Right, smell your lids. What did I say? Don't forget that tip. I think I've got myself a blotter. And here we are. It's strong. That's why it just slapped me around the face with its sweetness. Now, this is quite sweet. I presume that this would come in a lovely packaging. I wish I could see it. I'm sure it's very lovely. Sweetness. Yes, it's definitely up there. Definitely prefer it. Prefer the other sweet one. Carbon Klein, everyone. Now, I remember back in the day that CK1 used to steal that perfume from my mother and wear it to a youth club. I would dance the night away listening to 2010 bangers. Can't go wrong with a CK. CK everyone. Can't believe it's wearing pants. Right, well, I am ready to reveal what this one with the good lid is. Becky with the good lid. I see. A little bow. Well, we have Perfect by Mark Jacobs. You know what, a big Mark Jacobs fan? Big fan. Sweet, crisp, a little bit edgy, I would dare say. That is definitely a good one. I could see that being good for a wedding day. I'm just interested to see what the <laughs> it's in. Interesting, I wasn't expecting that. Who is you? It's only local legend and pop icon, Ariana Grande. Sorry, she's not a local legend, she doesn't live in my borough of Merton. But she is an icon. Ariana Grande, back out again with her god is a woman fragrance. You know, if I was to say, God is a woman, what's that smell like? Ariana's done the job for me. Sweet. It almost smells like a sparkling wine. Almost a little bit like a J2O. Um, so if that's your bag, comes a little sheath. Do we talk at the party when you whip out your perfume sheath? Thank you. Thanks, Ariana. Hi everyone, joining me today is Sharon Gafka, best known from Love Island. Sharon is also the ambassador for the Young Women's Trust. And she's here today to introduce us to Superdrug's new Itty Titty campaign. So Sharon, tell us about the campaign. So Superdrug's Itty Titty campaign is to encourage people to take control of their health. So its intention is to increase the awareness and conversation around breast checking and to encourage people to regularly check themselves. So it sees people receive these Itty Titty stickies when they order their contraceptives with Superdrug's online doctor or collect them in store. Well, these are a great idea. How would you recommend that we use them? So this leaflet contains 12 pairs of Itty Titty stickies Peel them off, you put them on your pill packet, so it encourages you to feel, to check yourself at the same time every month. So the intention is to peel it and feel it. So the idea around this is that there's actual behavioural science involved, and it's called habit stacking. So naturally we take our contraceptive daily and it's just to add something else on top of a pre-existing habit. By checking yourself regularly, it will help you notice any changes in your breast and that means you'll be able to spot the signs of breast cancer earlier. So are there any tips or techniques to ensure that you are checking the right way? Um, so there's no wrong or right way to check yourself. You can do it in the shower, in front of a mirror, or even lying down in bed. Personally, I do mine standing up in front of the mirror. Um, I put one hand on my hip just to relax that side of my body and then just give myself a good feel. But if you're not sure and you want a bit of advice, you could always head to Superdrug Online Doctor um, or even in store, there's leaflets and they will describe all of the techniques and things to look out for. And is there any advice that you would give to people when it comes to checking their breasts? So if you do notice any changes, the best thing to do is to contact your GP. They're able to give you a full examination and any advice going forward. But also at the end of any Superdrug health clinic appointment, you can speak to a Superdrug nurse and they'll also be able to give you any extra tips and advice. So the symptoms are also a new lump or changes in thickness of your breast tissue, a swelling or lump in either of your armpits, 
changes to the shape of one or both breasts. So it changes to the skin like puckering, redness or a rash. Discharge from either, the, either of your nipples. So also changes to the shape of your nipple like inverting, but also the skin around the nipple, such as discharge, crusting or scaling of the skin. So thank you for joining us, Sharon. This is such an important topic to discuss and also a great initiative to get young people to check their chests and breasts. For more information, you can visit Superdrug Online Doctor and search Itty Pitty. So that's all for today. Thank you to our lovely guests. I'll be back next week with the Superdrug social team to talk all things trending TikTok. Plus, we will be introducing you to the brand new vegan makeup range by Rimmel. Bye for now.